Welcome to a journey through the heart of Asia, where the rugged mountains of Afghanistan are preparing for a new era. In this video, you will learn about the most important highway project in Afghanistan, the Yakovalong Highway of Darasuf, a venture that could redefine Afghanistan's role in regional geopolitics and trade. This project could also bring economic prosperity to the poor families in these areas. Nestled between towering peaks and ancient silk routes, the Wahan Corridor is more than just a road. It's a symbol of hope and transformation. This ambitious project, which China is spearheading, aims to connect Afghanistan to the sizable markets of Asia, promising stability stability and prosperity. Will this dream become a reality? Will this road save this geographical prison? Will the Taliban make Afghanistan the most powerful country? Let's dive in. Imagine a road, not just a pathway of asphalt and concrete, but a lifeline taking you through the rough center of Afghanistan, from the deep valleys of Samangan to the verdant plains of Bamyan. The Yakavalang Highway, part of Afghanistan's north-south corridor, is envisioned as more than just a great piece of infrastructure. It is an opportunity for economic and social connection, bridging the northern and southern realms of the nation. The Wahan Corridor is a symbol of economic revival for Afghanistan, a country that has endured years of conflict. It promises jobs, infrastructure, and most most importantly, a step towards self-reliance. The bustling markets and thriving communities could soon become common sites along this new lifeline. To fully appreciate the Yakavalong Highway's vision, we must understand Afghanistan's topographical and cultural mosaic. Afghanistan, historically known as the heart of Asia, has been a crossroad of civilizations, yet its rugged terrain has often slowed down internal connections. The valleys of Samangan are steeped in history with Buddhist relics, and the area is also rich in mineral resources. This contrasts sharply with Bamyan's culture and agricultural importance. Bamyan is home to the ancient Buddhas and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The highway aims to stitch these diverse landscapes and cultures together, embodying Afghanistan's enduring spirit of resilience and adaptation. China, the Asian superpower, leans towards Afghanistan for a critical reason, access to the sea. The road network sprawling across Afghanistan is expected to bolster China's trade significantly. It's a backup plan, a diversification of routes ensuring China's access to global markets irrespective of political changes in Pakistan. Investing in this corridor is China's way of safeguarding its interests against the fluctuating political and economic tides in Pakistan and the broader region. Traversing 183 kilometers, this highway cuts through mountains, foothills, and plains, embodying the shortest route linking the ancient province of Bamyan with the northern regions. It promises economic rejuvenation for families nestled along its course, potentially liberating liberating them from the shackles of poverty and isolation. It has a length of 183 kilometers, a general width of 10 meters, a crossing line of 7 meters, and asphalt shoulders measuring 3 meters. This project has 8 bridges of different sizes, 194 check bridges, and 5,950 meters of retaining wall. 37 small and large villages are located on the path of this road. This development is like a complicated geopolitical dance of the 19th and 20th centuries, known as the Great game, where European powers vied for control in Central Asia. Afghanistan, then a buffer state, now emerges as a proactive participant, leveraging its geographical position for economic and strategic gain. The highway's route, strategically selected, goes through historically vulnerable and economically underdeveloped places. This region, while rich in natural resources, has remained isolated due to a lack of infrastructural development. Historically, Bamyan served as a hub on the Silk Road. The Yakavalang Highway's promise of connectivity is not just about physical access. It's about bringing Bamyan's historical role back to life as a cultural and economic bridge and revitalizing trade routes that once flourished in the days of the Silk Road. But wait, what was the function of the Silk Road in Afghanistan? The Silk Road wasn't built in a conventional sense, like a highway or a railroad. Instead, it evolved organically over time. The origins of the Silk Road date back to around the 2nd century. It began to take shape during the Han Dynasty in China. The Silk Road served as a pivotal link between Central Asia, South Asia, and the Middle East. This central location made it a crucial transit point for merchants, travelers, and armies. The primary function of the Silk Road in Afghanistan was to facilitate trade. It was a conduit for the exchange of goods such as silk, spices, precious stones, metals, and textiles. Cities like Herat and Balkh became bustling centers of commerce due to their positions on the Silk Road. Unfortunately, in the present era, this road has been neglected. Despite the
the big vision, the Yakavalang Highway's journey has been complicated. It started years ago under the presidency of Ashraf Ghani. The Asian Development Bank provided funding for this project. The Chinese road construction company was supposed to complete this road at a cost of $204 million in three and a half years. Now that years have passed since the beginning of this project, a question arises as to whether this north-south corridor of the country will be completed or not. Unfortunately, work on this big project has stopped for now, leaving parts unfinished and hopes and dreams hanging in the balance. When the project began, there was a time of cautious hope, a time when development projects were seen as investments in stability. However, the project's timeline intersects with a tumultuous period in Afghan politics, including the Taliban's freezing of international funds, withdrawal of international forces, and a resurgence of internal conflict. The Taliban government says that the construction of the Yakovlang Dara Suf Highway has progressed by 64%, but due to the suspension of the Asian Development Bank, this project has been stopped. Afghanistan's complex political landscape, which is ever-changing, casts a shadow over the project's future. Despite the Taliban government's claims that they will get back to work once the frozen funds are released, economic experts are not convinced. They say that releasing these funds would probably do more to boost the value of the country's currency than benefit development projects. These geopolitical shifts, coupled with the challenging terrain comprising rugged mountains and unstable geological zones, compounded the construction difficulties, turning the ambitious timeline into a hard, long-term task. There are currently hundreds of machines from Chinese companies in the field, and the government hopes that in the near future, they will resume the work. Heavy trucks will ruin this road until the Yakovalong Highway can be used again, which is another worry. Right now, Central Asia is connected with South Asia through Torkham Port, which makes it difficult for cargo vehicles to pass through the Salang and Mahapar highways. This road starts in Yakavalong district of Bamyan province and extends to Dara Suf district of Samangan province. Afghanistan's complex tapestry of tribal, ethnic, and political dynamics adds layers of complexity to any developmental project. The Yakavalong highway, in this context, is not merely a construction project but a venture deeply entangled with the nation's shifting political fortunes. The Taliban's return to power in 2021 and subsequent freezing of international funds altered the economic landscape drastically, casting uncertainty over foreign-funded projects. This period also marked a renewed focus on regional diplomacy, with neighboring countries eyeing Afghanistan's strategic position in Central Asia. The Yakovalong Highway, if completed, could revolutionize transportation in Afghanistan, providing a smoother, more efficient route compared to the problematic Salong Pass. It is not just a road, it represents hope for economic growth, job creation, and regional connectivity, linking South Asia to Central Asia and enhancing transit and trade opportunities. The vision of the Yakovalong Highway as an economic catalyst is grounded in the historical context of Afghanistan's trade routes. The Salong Pass, currently the primary north-south route, has a storied but troubled history and is often closed due to harsh weather or maintenance issues. By offering an alternative, the Yakovalong Highway could not only ease logistic challenges, but also symbolize a step towards a new chapter in Afghanistan. Afghan history, where infrastructure fosters unity and economic resilience, reminding us of the days when Afghanistan served as a hub on the Silk Road. As the narrative of the Yakovalong Highway unfolds, it echoes the larger story of Afghanistan, a land of contrasts and confluences where every road built is a stride towards knitting together a fragmented nation. This highway is envisioned as more than asphalt and concrete. It's a pathway to reconnect with Afghanistan's rich historical legacy as a crossroads of cultures and economies. Its completion could herald a new era where Afghanistan's diverse regions are no longer isolated chapters but integral parts of a cohesive, prospering narrative. As the world watches, the Yakovalong Highway remains a path of promise, awaiting its full realization. This is just the beginning of your endless voyage of discovery. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments below.